Welcome back to another episode of Real Life Affirmations. I'm Chisa Penix Brown, and today I'm going to be your own little life coach just for you because some of you out there might be a little depressed. You might have a little anxiety. And guess what? It happens to all of us. Life is life, and we have one to live. So I think we have to put life and our anxiety and depression into perspective. And so I want you to do this exercise with me where I want you to just sit and visualize. And I want you to visualize, this may be traumatic for some people, but just bear with me. Visualize whatever one of the worst things that could have ever happened to you. Visualize that. How did it make you feel? Where were you at? What did you smell? What did you taste? You know, just just think about how it felt. And then I want you to think about the fact that your darkest hour is only 60 minutes. No matter how bad you felt, no matter what you were doing, if you lost somebody, if you lost a piece of yourself, if things didn't go right, it could have been a divorce, it could have been a separation, it could have been a death, it could have been anything. But your darkest hour is only 60 minutes. And what happens is you feel like you're never going to regain yourself, you're never going to get back to whatever it was that you were prior to this thing happening. But your darkest hour is only 60 minutes. And this is not meant to diminish how you feel about it or how important this this activity was in your life. But your darkest hour was only 60 minutes. And if you live long enough, you'll keep growing. You'll expand your reach, your consciousness, your abilities, and you'll be able to move forward. Not past necessarily, but you'll be able to move forward. And part of that is because if you keep living, life is still going to be there. So if you don't continue to dwell on that worst situation and you look at it as just 60 minutes of time, Think about everything else that you do within the constraints of 60 minutes. You could do a workout in 60 minutes. You could watch a television program in 60 minutes. You could binge watch on YouTube or something in 60 minutes. You could probably write a chapter to a book in 60 minutes. You could journal in 60 minutes. You could go for a walk. You could listen to your favorite playlist. Whatever it is, what I want you to do is sit and create a space for yourself that you feel like is safe. And in that space, what are you going to do for 60 minutes? Maybe you're going to paint. Maybe you're going to draw. Maybe you got Legos. Maybe you color. I don't know. But find yourself something to do in that 60 minutes that makes you happy, that just brings you complete joy. Maybe it's taking a nap. I don't know. Whatever your 60 minutes is, find something to do with that 60 minutes Because then you can equate each 60 minutes to another. There's always something good right around the corner. Whether we know it or not, there's always another moment to be happy. And no matter what, even at your lowest, even at your worst time, your darkest hour is only 60 minutes. And maybe you haven't reached your darkest hour yet. But just remember When it gets there, when it comes, when that feeling of despair and nothingness and worthlessness comes, it's only 60 minutes. That hour will be gone. And you could make a decision that you're going to be a new person when that hour is gone. You could make a decision that you're going to change your whole entire life when that hour is gone. Now, I personally, when I get mad, I literally give myself a time frame to be mad because It's all in your heart and it's all in your mind, how you feel about yourself and about that situation. When I decide it's going to be 60 minutes, I'm going to let it go after 60 minutes. 
and make a decision that I'm going to be happy after that time frame or at least content. So I just want you to know that your darkest hour is only 60 minutes long. Envision a place, find it in real life where you can go and you can flip that around and have positivity in the things that you do, in the way that you see your situation, and you can move forward if you do this. Now, try this visualization visualization, uh, exercise with a friend, a family member, anyone who you feel like needs this. And make sure that it's at the right time for them to be willing to accept what we're saying here. Because it can be a powerful tool in healing and moving past some things that maybe you didn't think you could move past. But I promise you, your darkest hour is only 60 minutes. Let's make positive changes in our lives and let's make positive changes in the people's lives around us. This has been another episode of Real Ass Affirmations with Chisa Penix Brown.